Boy, am I excited to tell you what I'm going to get up to this week. It all started because Candace Owens had her visa denied to come to Australia on tour. This is really, really serious. And it actually has little to do with Candace Owens itself and everything to do with freedom of speech. If you care even just a little bit about freedom of speech in this beautiful country of Australia, then you need to join us to make some noise about this because it's Candace Owens today. It's going to be somebody else tomorrow and we can not let this go without at least making a spectacle about it. So what we are doing is uh, LifeSite News, which is quite a big uh, platform in Canada and America, uh, have put together a petition and they need, it, they need someone to deliver it to Tony Burke's office, who is the Minister for Immigration, who is responsible for denying access uh, to Candace Owens to Australia. So uh, we are going to print out the petition in full and uh, put it into a nice little, well, hopefully it's a big folder, and we're going to personalize deliver it in Canberra and I'm really really excited to do this. Let's talk about Australia because Australia is huge time in the news right now. Candace Owens is being denied entry into your country. What have you got to say about that? I'm very triggered by this because not long ago you know we fought against uh, drag queen story times in libraries and an innocent uh, child of any age could accidentally walk into a library and be confronted with a with a drag queen reading a very inappropriate book to them. However, adults can't willingly pay for tickets to see someone that they want to see. An adult can't see someone they want to see in Australia, but a child can accidentally walk into a drag queen story time. And and I just I find this really dangerous. And 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 personally, if Candace Owens can't come to Australia to see willing willing audiences. I'm worried that if I leave Australia, can I come back? The same reasons that they're denying her entry to Australia would be the same reason that they wouldn't want me here, <laughs> you know? And um, so that really frightens me. However, I am very confident that Candace Owens, um, I don't know her personally, but I'm sure she is uh, a strong woman. Uh, I know she is, and I'm sure she will fight this, and she has to for, for us, mo mostly for us, not so much for herself. Because if this is a precedence that is set that an Australian uh, member of parliament can just deny someone entry because they don't like what they're saying, I'm really worried about the precedent that that sets. So I will be here to uh, help in any way I can. Beautiful. Well, she is fighting it legally, but uh, LifeSite's also fighting this because we've just launched a petition to ask the immigration minister to allow Candace into the country. And we're hoping that you might uh, help us with the delivery of that petition. This man, I think Tony Burke, his name is, he's not going to like me very soon because uh, I, I, I recently asked everyone to email and call his office. Um, and then I'm going to turn up with, uh, you know, 20,000 signatures from all over the world. So um, I'm going to get to know this man or his staff quite well, and I can't wait to be there. <laughs> that is great. That is great. I am pleased to announce the launch of the new LSN TV app, which can bring all of LifeSite News' top video content direct to your phone, tablet, computer, and TV so that you can bypass the censors and keep fighting with us for life, faith, family, and freedom. Don't be alone in the darkness. We've been cancelled. Fight the cancellation. Download the app.